All right, hi Taurus. So I got quite a ways into your reading and my camera, I got a brand new phone and it's overheating. So I feel a little bit frustrated with the situation. I'm a Gemini rising. This is Mercury retrograde. I am a Libra. We're in a Venus retrograde. I am a Pisces moon. We have a full moon today on Pisces with Saturn right on top of it. It's one degree off of my moon. So I am doing my best here. <laughs> um, I'm going to start again and hopefully we can get back to where we were because I was getting like right to the heart of the matter and it was really beautiful. So you are in this place where you really don't want to invest in your masculine or in maybe any masculines. I see you withdrawing your energy, withdrawing your light. It doesn't mean the light has gone away. It's just I don't feel like you're being as generous as you usually are. And your masculine does feel this pulling away. I read for Twin Flames and High Level Soulmates and I generally read for the healing journey and not for karmics and things like that. That being said, I feel like you're both in an energy of like, well, if I'm not going to invest in this, I'm going to look at what's out there. However, that may play out for either of you. I feel like you are being a little deceitful in that energy. You're not exactly putting forth the truth of how you feel. And we're going to get to that in a second. Being without you is very difficult, especially when you consciously withdraw your energy from him. It makes him feel insecure, but it also pushes him to ascend. Okay. So on the bottoms of the deck, we have, I know I treated you badly and I'm too proud to say sorry, plus incoming contact. We'll get to that in a second. And under that's Empress energy. Here we have patience, the heart chakra, and door to value. We have knight of cups and four of swords with, sorry, five of swords with queen of swords underneath of that. We have the soulmate card with attraction flirtation now it's not the right time I'm sorry for lying and I've cried over you and again another tower with the phoenix and the mask under that so in the connecting energy I see that there is a longing for physical interaction with each other here and a lot of repetitive thoughts so the repetitive thought energy comes from fear energy. It's a 3D energy. It's not necessarily like a spiritual energy. I know there are people who say that it is like Alistar and that is not my understanding of it. Um, it is a mechanism of doubt, which is between four and 500 on the emotional scale, okay? What I like in the connecting energy is that you have the throat chakra upright. I see that there's a lot of energy, like maybe on social media, or maybe, you know, you see each other somewhere where it's like, you know, I know I look good and I'm, I'm putting myself out there. I do feel like this is a front. I do feel like the truth of the matter is, is oh, I had such a good point when I did this before and now it kind of went away, but what you really want to see and I think even what he really wants to see is that you two are choosing self-love and self-care and being happier. I think someone who's really doing that 
is not trying to like hook up with random people. Is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. But it tends to reflect the fact that you aren't looking for something deep. You aren't really prioritizing, you're, you're prioritizing the physical aspects of you. From the rest of these cards, what I see is that you two have this deeper need that you aren't fully expressing. And it comes from, and I did talk a lot about this in one of the air sign readings that I first did, the Libra and Gemini reading are really, really great. I think they're just almost collective readings, but I do encourage you to listen to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node for you and your twin. So I see that there is a pattern that you have so it's the, we always, the feminine is looking at the next frontier. The feminine's always going forward and the masculine's always catching up. And your next frontier is this pattern around not speaking up for what you really need. And part of that air sign message was the codependency is really about being able to make decisions independently and fully on your own. And I feel like you're pushing him to step up and to kind of uncover this heart of his more. And you're going to do that by healing this pattern you have around waiting for someone else to tell you something before you invest, right? Your investment, especially being a Taurus with Jupiter in your sign right now, you have, and it's about to go retrograde, you have the ability to like everything you touch is gold, but there's a part of you that is, that holds back the emotions and that's the key part here. You kind of save the emotions, the investment emotionally until someone else does it first. And there's a little bit of escapism here. We all escape, right? We can escape going into spirituality. We can escape going into the past, into the future. We can escape so many different ways. Um, and we're not, none, I'm not even saying anybody is perfectly in the present moment here all the time. But if you are escaping too much into the replaying thoughts, into the recurring thoughts, that is a form of codependency, I believe. So... <clears throat> They do want to say that there is an alignment here for you coming where you will, I believe, take a chance on really exposing your emotional vulnerability. And it's going to be very healing when you speak these words out loud. Um, the insecurity that he's feeling is kind of a reflection of your hidden insecurity and it's really going to be about being so secure that it really doesn't matter what another person says you just know that you need to express your feelings and right we're growing away from that tit for tat love that I give you give 50 50 type of we're a hundred and a hundred right that's where we're going and it's a bigger picture and it's just you know to to float in a hot air balloon you have to and go higher and higher 
you have to throw your sandbags over the side. You can't hold on to them, right? She's telling me to look at this picture. I mean, there's a very big part of you that wants to stay grounded. And, you know, they're really saying not fly too close to the sun. I can't remember exactly what I said in this one and then before it cut off, but this Venus retrograde here, we have the sun and we have strength is in Leo and it's teaching us a lot about self-love. It's teaching us a lot. Oh, I see. This is the, the hot air balloon picture. Transcending obstacles, obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay. So that's what you're doing with this preparing for union. So let's get some advice on who's here to help you. I do ascended masters, crystals, and dragons, and then I do messages from your twin. You can call them in while you're meditating or sleeping. Um, this is Kuan Yin, care and compassion. I was talking about compassion today with someone. Choose to be love, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. Lady Nada, heart awakening. See, I was saying that. <coughs> Awaken to the acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. <coughs> and then Venus. Sorry, clearing, clearing. Once it starts going, it just really goes. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. <coughs> so you have a lot of access. Oh, and I forgot to point out, I think, again, when it, you have seven, 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 seven. You had four sevens in this reading. <coughs> yeah. Seven, 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 seven. And I was just watching a video about seven today. So very spiritual number. Look it up if you feel called to. And you'll also have an 11 over here. Okay. And then a 38 and a 39. Crystals. Brazilianite, flexibility. Hiddenite, gratitude. And Shattuckite, teacher. And then... As I was saying, Azurite, expanded awareness, and Moonstone cycles. So your awareness is expanding greatly. I think you'll tap into that Jupiter energy and really feel my needle Jupiter is in my seventh house. Um, really feel when it goes retrograde, how to use it to expand inside. Oh, beautiful, I love this dragon. Okay, and then you have the solar. So we've had a lot of sun energy here. Golden solar dragon helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom, let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated. Become an inspired leader. Golden Atlantean Dragon helps you remember the wisdom of Golden Atlantis. Awaken, bring back your knowledge, gifts, and talents. Reclaim your mastery. This has been coming out in everyone's Dark Blue Galactic Dragon. Helps you listen to the voice of the universe. Ignites the code of your master blueprint. Access cosmic wisdom and enter higher service. And then some messages from your twin. As I said, I do think you will get some messages from him. He will be saying probably a lot of the things that you want to hear. Some of it is going to be very, you know, harmonious and loving. And I see that there are emotions here and he wants to heal some things. But 
it may be just to cover that it's he really wants physical interaction right now. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. I do think that is in the cards for you. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, Taurus, I hope that has helped you on your healing journey and your path and um, figuring out how to move forward on your journey. Bye for now.